the Democratic National Committee released its party platform. This comes just in time for the party to anoint Vice President Kamala Harris at the convention in Chicago. Only one problem. The 92-page document was passed days before President Joe Biden dropped out of the presidential race. The platform was not revamped for Harris, and Biden's second term is mentioned 19 times. Biden is mentioned 271 times. The policies outlined in the platform also mirror Biden's proposals, but Harris's vow to make price gouging illegal is not included. And I will work to pass the first ever federal ban on pr price gauging on food. While Harris is now the focus of the Democratic Party, the GOP presidential nominee, former President Donald Trump, is mentioned 150 times compared to Harris's 32 times. The 2020 Democratic platform seldom mentioned the border, except when criticizing Trump's border policies, including his national emergency proclamation about the border situation. For the 2024 platform, Democrats have dedicated significantly more space to the matter, with a chapter titled Securing Our Border and Fixing the Broken Immigration System. After years of taking shots at the Supreme Court over decisions they disagree with, Democrats took another shot at the court in the platform by claiming the court has made attacks, quote, on a wide range of long-established American legal principles, saying Biden will continue to appoint justices and judges across the federal bench who are just like Justice Jackson, platform specifically noting the race of Biden's judicial picks. The DNC is already seeing fiery anti-Israel protests in Chicago. That does not appear to have influenced the party's stance on Israel, at least on paper. In the platform, Democrats said they believe a strong, secure, and democratic Israel is vital to the interests of the United States and stood for Israel's right to defend itself. However, Senator John Fetterman has actually boycotted the DNC because he believes the Democratic Party has become anti-Israel.